today I'm going to be telling you about mobile home tub shower valves. On a tub shower valve, there's two different kinds. There's the straight, straight in line where the cold, the shower head riser, and the hot are all in line. And then there is what I call the Mickey Mouse. The cold and the hot are the same across, same elevation across, and then the tub spout is below, so it looks like a Mickey Mouse. It goes boom, boom, boom. See what I'm saying? So there's only two different kinds. Straight across, Mickey Mouse. Boom, boom, boom. This house that I'm working on now is a straight across. So I'm going to put this one in in place of the old one that is broke. All right, so I'm gonna talk about the elbows that screw onto the back of these mobile home valves. They, the rubbers in them sometimes will, depending on the age of the valve, how old the, the mobile home is, those little rubbers in there will get deteriorated. What I like to do, I like to do things like I would do it if it was my house. What I like to do is replace the whole thing now in this particular home, I'm not going to be replacing because he wants to keep the old one. So we're going to try to reuse the old swivel uh, female adapters. Um, but this is what I use. This is a Pex female swell, uh, swivel elbow. Okay. What you got to do though is say that Pex to convert to Pex. Say it, say that like in this home is uh, CPVC. If I wanted to convert it, they make, there's different ways you can transition. I use a CPVC half inch female PEX adapter. So I would just, it, CPVC takes forever to dry. So I'll clean it, even though it's a, a one step process. I still clean the CPVC because it's been here forever, you know, or it's been there forever. I'll clean it with a PVC cleaner and then I will. Uh, coat the pipe with CPVC glue and then I'll slide this on and I'll let it dry. That's the first thing I'll do. That way it can be sitting there drying. There's two different, this is a copper. This is same thing. It's just different make. But you see that's CPVC and that's PEX. So you put that on there and then you can transition to this swivel if it is CPVC. Now if it's poly, They've got these poly adapters. Now, see the one with the more bobbers on it is poly, and then that's PEX. So I'll transition from poly to PEX to the swivel. All right, so this is CPVC because it's got a yellow tint to it. These are the CPVC swivel adapters. See, they're straight in line. So this is the one type of valve that's straight in line. And, um, Make sure you turn the water off before you even attempt this. Turn the water off at the road or outside and then open a hose bit so that you can bleed it down. And then open these valves so that it'll drain down. Keep in mind, CPVC is, when it gets a little age on it, it gets very brittle. So be real careful not to snap it see how easy that is what is that when they glued it at the factory maybe some leftover glue that easy so now the, all the water lines are disconnected. I just gotta loosen these, then I'm gonna pull the old one off. So here you can see the old one, the new one. This is where one of the kids broke it off. Sorry about the glues. I'm gonna pull this off. I'm gonna clean this up. It's good practice. Have some. Uh, Cleaner, if you're a plumber, have some cleaner on your truck, 409. This is what I use. Scrubbing bubbles. Okay. okay. There we go. That's clean. Now what I'm going to do. 
is put a small bead of silicone all the way around the outside of this. Just a little sandwich in there. Make a good seal. Alright. So, put a little silicone around it. Just to uh, seal it off. And stick it in. Piece or whatever that was, that glue, that little glue out. And I'm gonna tighten these up. Just snug them. Whatever you do, don't wrench down on these. You don't have to be over tight because they have gaskets in them. And you don't, I know a lot of people will put Teflon on them. You don't have to put Teflon because it's got a gasket in there. You just have to put them on, hand tighten, as tight as you can get them with your hand. That's all it needs. If you over tighten them, you could crack the plastic. 